Hallelujah. Today I just want to tell somebody that you only cry out to God when you're in trouble. You cry out to God when your heart is in pain and when you're going through a lot of things. But you don't cry out to God all the time. You don't cry out to God when God is helping you, but you cry out to God when he's not. You give God all the credit uh, when he helps you, but uh, when he's not helping you, he gets no credit. It's just like in the book of Job 35 verse 9, when the Bible says, They cry out for help because of the arm of the mighty. But no one says, where is God my maker? Who gives songs in the night? Who teaches us more than the beasts of the earth? And make us wiser than the birds of the heavens. Dear they cry out. But he does not answer. Because of the pride of evil men. Surely God will not listen to empty talk. Nor will the almighty regard it. Although you say you do not see him. Yet justice is before him. And you must wait for him. And now because he has not punished in his anger, nor take much notice of folly, therefore Job opened his mouth in vain. He multiplies words without knowledge. Let us multiply words with knowledge this season in our life. Think about what we say before we say it. There are so many things in life we need to be thankful for. We need to be thankful for God for giving us life, for giving us food, for giving us clothes, for giving us shelter, for giving us jobs, for giving us businesses, for healing us, curing us, preserving us, protecting us, lifting us up above the enemy. We have to give God thanks this season and all season. You cannot say that Evangelist Taylor have not told you. You cannot. You cannot go to God when you're in trouble. But when you're not in trouble, you don't know God. If you only know God when you're in trouble, He will know you when you need Him. God does not have the mind of man. He does not treat us as our sin deserve, but God has feelings too. We have to be careful. We have to be careful. God has feelings too. He has feelings. Do you really believe that God gave us feelings, but he doesn't have feelings? Do you believe that? Do you believe that? Do you believe that? Just put yourself in God's position. If you have a family member or a friend and they only come to you when they need something. But when they have something and you have nothing, they know you not. They turn away from you. They want nothing to do with you. And as soon as they are back on their faces again, they know you. Who would want a friend like that? A family member like that? You should know God at all times. You should love him at all times. Worship him at all times. Be thankful to him at all times. You cannot say that I evangelist tale have not told you.